Greetings, welcome to the Play Space Live. Glad you're here. I'm Keith Avalon from Play Games. Sam is running the board tonight. We're going to play Fury Football. Our goals are threefold tonight. We're going to show you how the various solitaire methods work. Uh, for those that you know have uh, wondered how to you know play solitaire. Uh, secondly, we are hoping to uh, I incorporate uh, the strategy cards into solo play. Um, and maybe give you some pointers on how to do that if you're comfortable with it. Uh, and thirdly, we want to show you how the kicking game works. We may have an opportunity to use the kicking game. I personally use the kicking option uh, for my Fury Football games. Some people don't, you know, want to use that. Totally get that. It's your game, your league. Do it the way you want to. But for a defensive team like uh, the Washington Panic, the kicking game can kind of play more of a role than, uh, uh, you know, what it might play for the big fun or some of the other really offensive-oriented teams. Generally, Fury Football is kind of an offensive-oriented game, but uh, some of the teams are sort of defensive-skewed. And for them, the kicking game can really be sort of a strategic option. So that's why we chose the Washington Panic. We chose two of our new teams from the latest expansion series, the Washington Panic and the Milwaukee Buzz. And uh, the Panic uh, are one of those defensive-oriented teams. So uh, we gave the, each of these clubs robo-coaches. We're going to have O.A. Poydras be the coach of the Panic. Uh, he's uh, loosely based after Bum Phillips. Well, not so loosely, maybe, with uh, the initials O.A., uh, so he he's a pretty good coach actually, uh, in, very conservative with his uh, with his play calling, uh, defensive oriented. For the buzz, we're going to give them Putt Hub, who's not really patterned after anybody in particular, but he's a solid coach as well. And the idea was when I, we started this, uh, when we we envisioned this this webcast would be that we'd play two possessions with the auto coaches, and then I would take over for whichever team was losing. Uh, I played sort of a sample game prior to our webcast between these two teams, and I, I quickly discovered that uh, actually O.A. Poydras is a better coach than I am. So I, I took over for him and uh, uh, was uh, kind of re regretting that I, I had done so. Nonetheless, that's the way we're going to play it. We'll play the first two possessions with the auto coaches, and then uh, whichever team is losing, I will replace that coach and make the play calls, showing you how it can be played with uh, you know kind of you against the league so to speak. So we're ready to go here. i got the teams all set up. I have purposely uh, uh, chosen the lineups for the Panic so as to not create turnovers of their own, P putting the turnover creation mainly on the defense. Their offense may be a little bit boring, but that's where the kicking game comes in. Uh, and uh, what we'll do is we'll roll the three dice. The team that, that uh, rolls highest will go first. I was sort of philosophizing about which you know whether it's better to defer or to uh, uh, take the ball first in Fury football. Of course, in the, in the National Football League, you always want to defer, so you get the ball last. But in Fury football, you know, the, the team that starts first will actually get the ball in the midfield stripe in, in decent field position. So, and, and typically, you know, uh, the other team is going to get the ball deeper in their own uh, territory. So I'm wondering if maybe it, it, it makes sense to go first. In any event, whoever rolls highest is going to go first for this. So for the Panic, we roll a 8, and for the Buzz, we roll... A 10. So the buzz will begin. First possession, first down. The buzz starts at midfield. Putt Hub calling plays. And I'm going to use this blue uh, six sided dice for the defensive call. So I'm just going to roll them both together when I'm doing the uh, auto coaches uh, so I don't have to roll twice. So I'm just going to roll it once together. So here we go. We're going to get started. 0 0. I, I was, oh, one other thing. I was making this really cool little. Uh, uh, D6 scoreboard, so you could actually keep score. That's why I have these little logos in the center of the, of the field here. I was going to put these little dice here with the different numbers so you could actually keep the score, but uh, I didn't plan well enough to give myself enough time to finish it, so I only got through like half the dice before it was time for the webcast. So next webcast, we'll have like a nifty little scoreboard for you. Okay, so the buzz is going to go first, first possession, and it's going to be a... Uh, looks like it's going to be a run play against a, uh, a, a, a react defense. So the buzz is going to call a run. Uh, the panic will react. It's a die roll of four, and that means that uh, looks like uh, Kennedy Crowder is going to make the big play here. Uh, medium loss or a touchdown. So if I roll a two, three, or four, it'll be a touchdown, and that won't be a very good start for the panic. And it's a touchdown. So the buzz gets on the board first. It is six to nothing, and. Uh, 
I'm gonna we're we're gonna try out a kind of a new rule for for conversions, solo uh, calling conversions. I'm gonna say that if the game is within ten points, you roll one d6 for the conversion. If it's more than ten points, I'm gonna roll a uh, two d6 for to determine the 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 conversion. So uh, it's gonna be a one point conversion for the buzz, starting from the one, and let's see if they can convert. Uh, it's gonna be a uh, another run play, and it looks like uh, the the panic will call a run defense. All right, so we roll a 17, which means they're going to go to the defense card. And that looks like it's going to be a stop, a stuff for a loss. Oh, only a loss of one, though. So the panic will take over deep in their own territory, down six to nothing. Uh, now, here's where the kicking option, you know, might come into play for, for the panic. They're, they're pinned back in their own uh, their own territory. A loss, uh, you know, a sack is going to give up a defensive touchdown. So the game is still close. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kick it. Uh, again, it's kind of a strategy. You know, I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and kick it just to show you how it would work. So the, it, this is another rule I'm kind of experimenting with. The kicking rule, the kicking option that's explained in the rules, you roll 2d6 and add it, and that's how many yards the ball would go. Uh, but if there were uh, doubles, then it's considered just like a turnover, like a blocked kick. This new wrinkle that I'm thinking is that you can roll three dice, but again, if there's doubles, if there are any two that are the same, then it's considered a turnover or like, like a blocked kick. But the, the uh, plus is that you get extra distance out of it. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is just roll the two, although they're pretty deep. What the heck? Let's roll three. Let's see if they can get out, get, get out of it. Oh, but I got the two D, the two one. So it's going to be. So that means the basically Washington is going to pass on their possession. We're going to go to Milwaukee's second possession, and uh, they're going to take over at the Washington two. So that didn't work out very well. Not a, not a great call. But maybe uh, O.A. Poydras's defense can can hold, toe, toe the line here. All right. So putt hub at the at the Washington two, and it's going to be a two. Uh, so it'll be a run play and against the run defense so they may they may be able to tough it out here and I roll a two which is a defensive play it's gonna be a short loss so it'll be a loss of ooh six one two three four five six and I believe the panic have a card which allow you to they'll try, they'll, they've got a couple cards that work on defense they've got panic in the pile which could generate a fumble uh, but it's on a square result or the hasty retreat, which would add another loss, but it's a it's a better chance of it happening. So I'm going to go for the hasty retreat, I think. You know what? I'm going to go for the panic in the pile. Go for the panic in the pile, because that would get the ball back for uh, for uh, Washington. So five or a six will result in a fumble on this. It doesn't. All right, so it'll be second down uh, for Milwaukee from the, uh, looks like the, the eight. And uh, so far... O.A. Poydras has called a good defensive game and kept the uh, panic in the game despite uh, laps in offensive judgment uh, on my part. Okay, so uh, here comes Putt Hub. He's going to call a, uh, let's see, they're on the whites. So it's going to be a pass play against a react defense. All right, so let's see what happens here. 16, well, that's going to be a react. 16 is going to be player defensive player 3, who is uh, Corby out there. Oh, it's a sack! It's a, it's a sack for Outley, and now they can play their. Here's an. Uh, by the way, I also flip these cards over when they're, when they're done, when they're used. Uh, so it's a sack for three. One, two, three, and now they're gonna play their other, uh, extra loss card. And they'll fail to get that as well. Looking at the uh, Buzz's offensive cards, they, they, they Buzz's strategy cards. Um, most of theirs are offensive oriented, so the Panic have used both of their uh, their key strategy cards and just have not gotten anything out of it. Um, so that will make it third down. The Buzz, however, are moving the other way. All right, so uh, let's call the play. It's going to be a uh, looks like it's going to be a run play against a gotcha defense. So yeah, Poitras is really good. Got a couple of gotchas in both zones. So it'll be a run play against a run defense. And it'll be 16. So once again, the panic. Let's see. That's going to be a uh, player five uh, on the run defense. So that will be, looks like it's going to be crash, heart, net, short loss, 
or fumble. Two, three, four is a fumble, and it's a fumble. So that'll end the possession. That'll end uh, Milwaukee's possession. And uh, we'll go to the third possession for Washington. And they are at the uh, buzz nine. So at this point, this is the, this is the same scenario that played out last game, where the bu- the uh, the panic was behind, uh, and so um, or actually we don't even score yet, do we? I'm trying to remember the score here. Is, is it six? Yeah, six to nothing. Yeah, they did score on the on the first play. So this is the exact same situation in the sample game that I played, where uh, the uh, the panic was behind. Uh, but I was like, I got to take over for Ori Poitras. He's actually playing pretty well. So, but non- nonetheless, that's the way we'll play it. So the panic takes over at the buzz nine, their third possession, and we got to get some points on the board here. It is only six to nothing. Uh, and, and in the sample game, I did actually score. So I, I actually did win the game, but it was close 14 to 11. All right, let's see if I can get the, uh, get the, uh, the panic in the end zone here. Uh, we will try an audible to start and uh putt hub is going to respond with a uh looks like they're going to respond with a react defense so it's going to shut me down second down uh i am going to i'm going to try a run play and they are playing a run defense putt hub is no chump he is a pretty good coach as well so run versus run 16, and it's going to be their player five, which will be uh, Lenny Rohn. So he causes a fumble, and that ends my possession. So now we go we're already on the, on the uh, well, I guess this would be the, uh, let's the, um, think of my, of my possessions. Let's see. So um, panic. Yeah, so, it's, so yes, it's now the, the fourth, the, the buzz is fourth possession. Wow. Fast-moving game. So the Buzz have the ball. Fourth possession. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to call defense now, though. And um, let's use the yellow die for the... I think we will call a react defense. And they are going to call a run play. So run play versus react. And I rolled a seven. So that'll be Kent Lager. Uh, who, by the way, is also included in the uh, Wrestling America Federation uh, 90s set. He was a uh, former wrestler. I guess that maybe was his dad. Uh, all right, so uh, run play is going to be medium gain, but penalized if I roll a one. And I don't. So it's a medium gain for Kent Lager. Or for, uh, he creates a medium gain, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is where I kind of would like to hand the coaching reins back over to OA. <laughs> Because he's got those gotchas, which I, I'm not able to do. Um, I will play a Fury defense, and Hub's going to audible. So Adi's going to go a pass. He's going to do a run against a, a Fury defense. And two. It's a good defensive call. It's a short loss. Six. That's more than short. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts him back at the midfield stripe. And it'll bring up a third down. Uh, they have, the Buzz has a uh, smooth, fi- or a uh, happy hour card, which allows them an extra down, but they will not play it here. They'll see if they can score. Uh, and I've got a, uh, the panic has a strategy uh, negate card. Uh, so let's see. They will go. Let's have them try a. Well, I guess I'm, I'm going to try a pass defense. And they are indeed calling a pass. And we roll a four. Uh, again, we get the panic defense. It's going to be a short gain or a two, three, four sack. If I roll two, three, four, it's going to be a sack. Sack for five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All right, back to the. So now it's fourth down. So now they will play the uh, the uh, extra down, the happy hour card. Um, but in fairness, the panic would play the uh, the panic attack card, which would negate that card. And that still leaves us at fourth down. 
so this again will be a time where a kick might be in order uh, with the score only six to nothing because if you fail on the play that will give the panic the ball pretty uh, pretty deep in their own in, in buzz territory so they will will have them go and, and I don't have I don't have the kick option included in the offensive Robo cards that's something you got to do on your own I'm gonna have them go ahead and kick um, the question is whether to use two or three I think we will use two much less chance of a turnover. So we get six on the kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be the, the panic's last chance. They're going to get the ball just outside the midfield stripe. Fourth possession, and it's only six to nothing. So we, we were expecting a defensive game. It's exactly what we have here. All right, and I got Pud Hub looking me down, staring me down with his two gotchas. And uh, um, I think... Probably the safest call for uh, for these guys is to go react at least on to go an audible on at least on first now. So that's what we will do. And Putt Hub is gonna uh, let's see. He got me. He's got the, he's got the react defense. So uh, I just lost the down second down. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta call a play. I'm gonna run. Putt Hub is in the fury defense. Let's get something. Come on, panic four. Oh, it's a defensive result. So short gain or no gain on a one? It's a short gain of four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. It's third down. Well, what would what would Bum Phillips do here? Would he have a uh, Dan Pastorini drop back to pass? Probably not. He'd probably give the ball to Earl Campbell. So we're gonna run. We do have two downs. It's four down territory here. So uh, let's see what Pud Hub responds with. He's gonna go with a. React defense. All right, so I'm going to get the playoff anyway. Here's the run. Oh, it's another defensive result. Four. It's going to be Tank Oka four. Unless it's a one, though, we'll at least get a short gain. So we're going to get a short gain, and it's going to be a gain of five. One, two, three, four, five. So that puts us fourth down at the two. Six to nothing is the score. We get If we punch it in, we can tie it up and go for the go for the win. So what do we do? Well, we certainly don't want to call an audible. Uh, I think I think that lo that uh, a run play is is best. So here we go. Obviously, kicking is not an option. We'd get three points, but that would not be enough. So here we go. We're gonna run. Pud Hub says pass defense. Whoa, we might score. So in the pass defense, it's a 17. We're in the uh, pass defense card. That should be good news. It's a long gain. So I get to roll three. So I'm, so I'm in. I'm definitely in. So it's six to six. All we need is one point to win the game. So we're going to go for one. And we are going to try to cram it in with Reggie Manoa, the star back. He's going to try to bust it in for the win. Run play. Putt Hub says react. So uh, let's see if we can get it in. Seven. Jumpy Nadich. Short gain or medium gain. It's in. We win. The panic pulls it out. Seven to six is the final. Is that not a bum Phillips kind of game or what? So that's our that's our uh, that's our game for tonight. Hmm. Low scoring, hard hitting, and uh, looks like the uh, looks like the the panic pulled it out at the, on the last sequence there. I think the kicking game definitely uh, uh, was a factor. Certainly, it set up it set up the uh, only. Uh, well, I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm recalling the game. This is this is what happens when you don't play with the score sheet. So they uh, gave up that first touchdown, but then when they tried to kick uh, the long kick uh, early in, the, in, in on, on their first possession, and it, and it didn't work, but they were able to string together a couple of losses and keep uh, the buzz out of the end zone. So anyway, it's it's an interesting way to to. Uh, I th I think it's an interesting option, and I like using it. Um, and hopefully, it gave you a, a sort of a sample of how to 
you know, uh, use the strategy cards, how to use the kicking option, how to use the different coaching cards. Um, not a lot of offensive fireworks, but uh, still an entertaining game nonetheless. So there's our final score, the Washington Panic 7, the Milwaukee Buzz 6 in our Fury Football featured event. Uh, we haven't planned what we're going to do next week. Eh? We were just talking about that before the webcast. What we got planned next week? We haven't decided. But whatever we decide, it will be fun. So I hope you'll join us. And uh, thanks a lot for watching us uh, here on the on the Play Space Live. Once again, our final score, the Washington Panic 7, the Milwaukee Buzz 6 in Fury Football. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, you can always email us. Info at play.com is the email address. Or you can leave comments here on the broadcast. I always go back through and... Uh, reread them and, and respond to any that need to be responded to. Uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot for being part of the Play community. We will see you again next week. Same time, same place.